before we begin this video kindly subscribe to this channel and leave a comment for me at the end of the video hi friends my name is jerry and i am a 2019 img and i'm studying for my step two right now i did my step one already and so in this video what i want to talk about is why your nbmas and your self-assessments are not improving and that is making you not ready for the step one now um you might you might be doing very well um by doing everything your colleagues have told you like um buying all the materials um, watching all the videos and um, unfortunately your assessments are not going well you might be doing your u world and even scoring high on your world but then you go to npme and it's not working for you so in this video i'm just going to give you some pointers and certain things that you can do differently in order to make uh, a difference in your studies and also in order to be able to um, round up your studies and do well going forward so the first thing i want to talk about is that you might be someone who is memorizing materials rather than mastering the materials uh, so if you are someone doing this then this might be one of the greatest greatest mistakes that you are doing um lack of understanding of concepts and some people even memorize the u world questions but what i want to let you know is that the usmle it's setting the questions in a way as to weed out students who who only memorize the materials but do not really understand it because um, when they set the questions they make sure that they do they shift away from using those buzzwords that make students memorize questions so um, some people just memorize the concepts instead of understanding and being able to apply the concept so going forward that is one thing that you really want to look at buzzwords are not enough try to even understand those buzzwords why those buzzwords so that is one thing that you want to look at work on that and your scores may change now the next thing is you might be moving too fast so some students like they spend um so, so they, they just speed up through the materials, um, the scheme, instead of um, trying to um, really spend time understanding the topics. Like, so um, if you are someone doing that, you don't want to just skim through the materials, but um, you want to take time to understand the concepts, spend enough time understanding the concepts then um, don't just use two three days for a topic and then think that you understand it no and um, what you want to do is you want to spend about four five six days on one topic try understand it use different materials uh, use different sorts of questions and see how these um, uh, concepts could be tested so consider spending more time and um, if you think your dedicated is too short then you consider extending it or um, you might also ask your school um, to give you more time to take um, this test um, for my experience um, i would rather um, if you don't have enough time to study then i would rather master like 60 percent of the materials rather than to skim through all the hundred percent and i wouldn't be able to do well so if First of all, if your NBMAs are not good, I would say don't um, go and say you are trying to, to, to see if you can pass. Now, that's a waste of time, and it's also going to limit the number of um, programs that will select you um, when you apply for interview. So what you want to do is uh, take your time, um, relax. You, you, may, you might consider to start all over it doesn't matter it's better for you to spend a longer time and make a good grade than to just rush through the material and fail um, i know people who have failed like two three times and it's, it's not very helpful um to see that happen so you might consider extending your date or and then some uh, what i tell some people is that when um, you are not really ready if you're not passing the nbme then um, you don't you don't pick your triad yet so you study until you are passing your nbme then you pick your triad and when you get your triad then you go into your dedicated and that helps you to um to 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 um, relax and study better next thing i'm going to talk about is um 
forgetting the um, old uh, materials that you have learned so um, most of the time we forget things that we have learned in the past yes it is true um, we all forget students um, we all forget we all study and forget but um, the panacea to that is uh, to use space repetition so by that some people like to use Anki flashcards yeah Anki flashcards are very good but one advice I'll give you when you're doing Anki flashcards is using using um, using uh, like flashcards that have been done by other people like pre pre-made pre-made flashcards um for me it is not a smart way to go about it um what, what i did was um when i see my weak areas when i get my weak areas when i'm doing questions and i know that that's i'm going to forget um i'll do my personal flashcards and then that helped me so that i anytime i graduate from the flashcard it means that i have graduated from my personal weak areas because everybody has their weak areas the person who made that pre-made flashcard also have their own weak areas so i'm not gonna do their weak areas i'm gonna find my personal weak areas and then do its flashcard so that is something that you might consider when you're thinking about doing uh, anki uh, flashcard um there's also a, a limit to how high you can score when um, you do a space repetition uh, because when you forget materials then your scores are going to just um, um, just uh, cap somewhere and you, you're not going to see improvement because you keep forgetting stuff yeah, and that's not what we want so you should find a way to do space repetition yeah, that helps a lot uh, the next thing is um, not doing enough questions so um, doing more questions helps you to be able to test how differently um, the same materials could be tested. So um, when you do questions, it helps you identify your weak areas. Um, it helps you put your knowledge to test also. So that is one thing that you want to do. The more questions you do, the higher your scores are likely to be. But remember, when you're doing those questions, you want to be able to use those questions to identify your weak areas. Um, doing questions also helps you to um, uh, doing questions also helps you to uh, be able to um, do space repetition and also appreciate um, the, uh, your stamina, right? You'll be able to increase your stamina of um, even sitting for the exam. So that is one thing. Doing more questions makes you comfortable um, when it comes to the USMA style question. You need, you need to get that confidence and that comfort in doing questions. So that is another thing. Um, the last thing I'd like to talk about is... Um, um, some people like some students don't uh, know how to interpret the questions that they are doing so you are doing more questions all right but you're not interpreting the questions well by so uh, some students rely just on buzzwords to in order to be able to do questions that like some students when they are doing their second pass of you work um, they don't take time to understand the questions like every single sentence in the question is there for a reason so try to understand why the sentences are added to the question because this is what some students do. Um, they just read the last line of the question and then try to see if they can see any buzzword and then they pick the answer and then they get it correct. For you world, if you're doing your second pass, because you've seen the question before, you'll get it correct, but that's not what you want. You want to understand why the question was framed that way. So when you do that, then it helps you to be able to coordinate what you have learned with what the question is asking and then that helps you to be able to remember so don't just go uh, don't be interested in getting questions correct no getting questions correct it's frustrating like we've all been there before like it it, it gets frustrating when you're missing every question but hey um, i'm I, i'm happy when i miss questions because it helps me to know uh, it tells me that hey you are not ready or um you are you're not you're not really um conversant with this topic so take your time and do it again and and one, why i don't get too sad um i get sad when i don't i don't know the topic at all but why i don't get sad is that i know that hey um and i was able to diagnose the condition i was able to um, um diagnose but just that i couldn't find maybe whether we should do ct scan or mri so knowing part of the question is, is something that should make you happy hey i knew the question or oh, I understood the question, but I did not. Be, I did not answer what they wanted. So it is something you should be happy about. At least you are not starting from ground zero. And um, also, 
you may also um, understand the question by just uh, something little that you missed out so that tells the next time you should pay more attention um, when you're approaching questions so yeah um 50 percent of our questions that we get incorrect are due to um knowledge gap we know that so if you're able to fix that knowledge gap then going forward your answers um will, will be more you get more uh, correct questions and 50 percent are also nothing um nothing um to do it has nothing to do with the um, knowledge gap so um, if you know that hey these are the reasons why i'm getting my questions incorrect then you want to work on it and i don't think there is any uh, magic when it comes to doing um, to, to passing the usmle there's no magic anywhere it's all about studies take your time be sincere to yourself and um, if you've done your world already and you don't really understand it um, take your time and go back to the topics that you didn't do well. Go back to Pathoma. Go back to your first aid again and do all of them together and talk to people. Yeah. So um, these are some of the few things. Um, if you also know certain things that are um, making people not to score um, or pass their NBME, uh, let me know under the comment over there and also put your comment down there and let me know. Um, what you've learned from this video thank you very much for watching this video and um, i'm gonna get back to my books now thank you enjoy your studies and good luck in your exams bye